So as you can see, Adam is making a lot of progress. I'm happy with the changes that he made so far. We've still got a long way to go. Adam, how are you finding the new routine? Yes, he's, he's finding it okay. I'm working really hard to ensure he's achieving his targets. Okay, Adam, you need to understand that these changes need to be made and they need to be made quite quickly. It's still deemed as a cause for concern. The medication will help your schizophrenia, but you need to keep at this new routine. We don't want it to end with an involuntary admission into the psychiatric unit. No one wants that for you. Okay, I'll try harder. Okay, well that's really good to hear. I think that's everything for today. Thanks for coming in, Adam. Thanks for bringing Adam in, Debbie. Thanks very much. Come on, Adam. Excuse me. Don't just sit there. This room is a mess. Clear your shit up now. Okay, I'm sorry, Debbie. Here we go with the waterworks again. You made me look like a complete idiot today. They think I'm not good enough to look after you. You have ruined my life. You have ruined my career. I can't wait until you get admitted, you low-life piece of shit. You mean nothing. You're not my mum. You can't tell me what to do. Get out of my house. Shut up! You don't deserve me. You don't deserve anything. I wish you a truly unhappy life. It would be better for all of us if you didn't exist. Now, get out. I can't bear to look at you. You can't dictate what I do. Yes, I can. You're right. I am not your mum. I am not your parent. I am not your family. I am not your friend. Now, piss off. And don't you dare come out until I say so. to apply for a position as a carer. Yes, I have lots of experience in mental health. Yes, that's great. I'll see you Monday. Thanks. <laughs>